Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 98 of Flea Market Video Game Hunting. The Flea Market episodes resume, guys. So it's been about exactly two and a half months since I haven't been to the flea market. The first two weeks were kind of tough. I was really like dreaming about going to the flea market and picking up some good stuff. But after like three and four weeks hit, I was kind of used to it and I kind of forgot about it. So I looked online because one of the local flea markets, I know most of you may know the Kobe swamp meat had just opened I think on Friday last Friday so I looked this one up and it was open so I picked up three things which was surprising to me because I honestly was not expecting to find anything with the amount of booths that you guys saw were there so I picked up this Pokemon nano block thing and I picked up this road rash game and some wipes for five dollars and then I went back when I went to go pay with the lady I actually went to go pick up the Lord of the Rings game that I put back so that was was everything that I picked up and honestly I'm happy with what I got so guys without further ado let's get into the pickups hey guys hope you're all having a great day so I did only pick up three items so before I show you those three items I mean now you already saw them when I picked them up but let me read off the question for this week's video so the question is what are the nicknames for the four pac-man ghosts question again what are the nicknames for the four Pac-Man ghosts? All right, so that is the question for this week. So let me show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing that I picked up, and all of these games were from the same booth. So the first game I'm going to show you in no particular order is Road Rash, which apparently at one point was Garrett's because it has their name on it. I don't know why Road Garrett Rash. Uh, yeah, that sounds weird. Okay, so that is the game there. I did already clean it. I have not cleaned the pins yet, though. I was gonna clean those, but I forgot to clean those. And there is the back of the cartridge. So I have had this game once before, but I actually think it was the second one, and I had it in the case for the Sega Genesis. So that is the first game, and for three things I picked up in the beginning, she charged me $5. So these two things and some wipes were $5 and then the last game was two dollars so the next thing I picked up was this which I have built one of these before it was like a little doggy and this seems to be a Pokemon I don't really know what Pokemon that is but I can or I am positive that it is a water Pokemon right it's one of the newer Pokemons and I know the original Pokemons but not any of the new Pokemons so or the Pokemon I don't know why I said Pokemons okay so at one point this or I think this is probably still $12.99 if you purchase it at the store but that's just insane I feel like it's that price because it's Pokemon branded so I don't know whether to put this into the Twitch giveaway like in the goodie box or if I should build this myself on Twitch because apparently there is 210 pieces and this is brand new I'll show it to you guys I looked at it first because I thought it was opened but no it is brand new as you guys can see there so this is the baggy instructions these are the pieces hopefully none of the pieces fell through these two holes right here i don't think so because all of the pieces are in little baggies so that is pretty cool especially for the price that it was marked at i would not buy it at that price but yeah so a pokemon nano block set so i'm still debating whether I should keep that or put that in the giveaway but most likely I will add it to the giveaway box so this is the last and final game I know a really short video so I picked up the Lord of the Rings I don't know why I picked this up so she had two other games she had a Lego game for the PS4 which trade-in wise at GameStop is like three dollars she wanted four dollars for it so I didn't pick that up and she also had like a Harry Potter game but I believe I already have Harry Potter for the GameCube so I picked up this because she wanted two dollars for it i was like eh, might as well so it is complete and i did check both discs and they are flawless so here is the first game and it looks like this game had just been like opened the first disc had been put in as you guys can see that's a fingerprint i did not put that fingerprint on there somebody did so it looks like they just tried out the first disc because the second disc is flawless so that is disc one and this is disc two disc two is okay there's like a i don't know if that's a smudge over here where my pinky is or if 
I don't know, the disc just got like that, but there we go. I'm also using the light that you guys saw in the room tour instead of the three lights that are powered by AAA batteries. Let me know if you think this is better or if you think it's too bright or just let me know what you think about it, guys. I, j I think it makes the camera less focus in, focus out because it's not that intense. But so here is the game. This is going to be a for trade along with this. I really regret picking this up because there's a name in the middle but oh well you know it was a good price so I decided why not so there we go there is the back on this and I'm surprised she did have GameCube games because GameCube games are kind of hard to find so that was everything that I picked up at the flea market I know very short video but hopefully you guys enjoy it let me know what your favorite item was mine would probably have to be this only because I picked it up for what I had three items and it was five dollars in total and this is marked at $12.99 that's expensive but Pokemon branded it is brand new honestly I thought it was going to be opened and pieces were just going to be thrown in there or the pieces were going to be in a Ziploc bag and it was missing pieces but no it was complete and yeah great price absolutely my favorite pickup so hopefully you guys enjoyed it again I'm sorry it was pretty short but I just wanted to get a flea market episode out there for you guys because I know you some of you have been waiting for a flea market episode but some of you guys have been watching my other content that I've been uploading so thank you very much so hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos if you want to follow me on Twitter Instagram Facebook or Twitch the links will be down below in the description happy hunting until next time guys I'll see you in my next video.